Good afternoon, guys. This is Sheila. Welcome into my home, everyone. I have a wonderful recipe for you today. So what I have in this bowl right here, guys, is some butter cornmeal mix, okay? But this is not the king of this recipe, okay? So then I have some gypsy corn muffin mix. We're gonna put half of this into our buttermilk meal. Okay, just a half, guys. I did not measure it because I just want half of it. Now this is the king to this recipe, guys. I want to show you. These are called pork crackers, okay? This is the king of this recipe, but this is going to be corn bread, okay? So we're going to get right into the video. You're going to need one egg into this recipe. You're going to need some buttermilk for this recipe, guys. Maybe about a cup and a half for this recipe of buttermilk. You are going to mix well. You are going to mix your buttermilk, cornbread mix, and your Gypsy mix, one and a half cup. You're gonna mix well. You're gonna need a little water for this recipe. Not too much, guys, just a little bit, okay? Mix well. Make sure you have no lumps in your cornmeal, okay? Once again, guys, before we move on to the next thing we are going to add to this recipe, I am going to go over the recipe. I had two cups of regular buttermilk cornbread mix. Then I added a half, uh, one half cup of Gypsy Mix into this recipe. Okay. We are going to add our butter into this recipe. Now what I did with my butter is I just warmed up my pan. And I put the butter in there and warmed it up a little bit. And we're going to pull that butter into here. And we're going to leave the rest. So our cornbread won't stick to the pan. So as you can see, we got our butter. We have maybe a tablespoon of water I think I put into this recipe. We put a half a cup of buttermilk into this recipe and now we are going to add our green onions into this recipe and you are going to mix well guys okay mix this recipe really well so now that you have your buttermilk cornbread mix you got your gypsy mix you have your green onions. You are going to add your pork crackers, okay? You can find these at any store, okay? But I have the hot ones, okay? Because I wanted some flavor in this recipe. So I'm going to add them into the recipe. And 
we are going to stir this up really well. Now when you cook this, guys, you're gonna cook this recipe for about 20, 25 minutes until your cornbread is golden brown, okay? You can serve this recipe with beans or greens, or you can serve this recipe um, with cabbage, um, you can eat it by itself. Some people like to take this recipe and put it in a bowl, like you do cereal, and they add buttermilk on top and eat it like that. But we are gonna take this recipe and we are going to, so you got your butter in your pan, right guys? And we are going to put our cornbread into the pan. Now guys, if you like, you do not have to put them green onions in this recipe. I did it because I wanted that flavor. I wanted to kick up the flavor a little bit. But guys, you don't have to put the green onions in your recipe. But once again, guys, the key to this recipe and this cornbread is your pork crackers. You can buy them at any store and you add it into your recipe. And this is called cornbread cracker bread. We call it cracker bread, okay? That's what my mother used to call it, cracker bread. So this is cracker bread, buttermilk cracker bread. So guys, now that you got it in the pan, you see your butter on top, you are gonna put this recipe in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and just let it cook in the oven. And after your recipe cook in the oven, you let it set for about four to five minutes and then you cut and you serve, okay? Guys, thanks for coming into my home and allowing me to share another wonderful recipe for you with you guys and it's for you guys once again guys this is the pork crackers that we are going to use that we have used in this cornbread you can use this pork cracker in your cornbread uh, some people add these like in the greens, but I never did that, but I'm, I heard that it is really good. So thank you once again for coming into my home, keeping me company, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.